Alrighty guys, well, welcome to the video. So today what I wanted to do is a follow-up video on the Ultimate Windows Scheduler Guide. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is that there was one specific tweak that you can do to your system to dramatically reduce the amount of interrupts and latency within your system. And the reason why this matters so much, guys, is because in combination with the tweaks that I've already mentioned before with the reserved CPU sets, what I noticed is that when I ran Media Experience Analyzer, there was only one specific driver and one specific kernel symbol that was not obeying the reserved CPU sets, which if you're not familiar with, allows you to basically change the way that Windows scheduling works entirely. So you can basically move all of your operating system off of core zero, which again, I originally thought was basically all but impossible because I had never seen anybody um, have any software that could override it in a way that actually worked at a fundamental level with even the kernel drivers. So you guys are going to gonna check that out because it's going to be a really cool guide that you're going to probably enjoy learning about. But onwards with this video, the one symbol is known as PPM perf action. And what this seems to stand for is processor performance management perf action. So performing an action for power management. And so what I noticed is that a lot of people online were saying that this was related to, for example, something like speed step, speed shift, all sorts of different um, dynamic changing of frequency um, sort of tools that help save power, boost performance, all that fun stuff. So what I did is, is I downloaded a software known as the Power Settings Explorer. And this is normally not something that you can have available already. So I'll link it in the GitHub description as well. And you guys can actually you know, figure it out and download it for yourself. But if you go into there, there's one specific setting, processor performance time check interval. Well, normally this is defaulted on the high performance plan and it's normally set to a value of 15 milliseconds which is a very high amount considering how often this is going to be actually updating. So what this specifically says is specify the amount that must expire before processor performance states and parked cores may be reevaluated in milliseconds. So this is essentially checking how often the operating system needs to change certain power saving states within the system. But as we all know, most of the way that reduces latency is by disabling power saving features. So this essentially is updating for no reason. And this seems to also apply for all of the different games and actual latency tests that I ran. It doesn't seem to do anything so long as you don't actually need to have um, any sort of parked cores moved or changed or power states actually you know, reevaluated. So if you set this to the highest value of 5,000, you can dramatically reduce the amount of interrupts on the system by an absolutely unbelievable amount. So I ran a bunch of different DPC and ISR analyzing tools and software. And so the one you guys are one again to check out is what's known as XPerf. And it's basically a much better and almost infinitely better version of LatencyMon because there's a lot of different flaws with that software. But Xperf gives you all of the same different things that you're going to want to use to actually analyze you know, the latency within your system. So normally, with this set to 15 milliseconds, it will be generating almost 113,000 interrupts on your system, which is an absolutely insane amount considering just how much is, of it is related to just the kernel alone. Of 100,000 interrupts are coming from just the kernel alone. So that's why I wanted to analyze the driver of the kernel specifically to see if I could find a way to reduce this, even if by a smaller amount. Well, this was the main reason why I wanted to make this video because this is a, this is how unbelievable this tweak is. When you set it to the highest value of 5,000 milliseconds, you reduce the amount of interrupts by on your system by 10 times. So we have cut the amount of interrupts into one tenth and not only that, but the latency is dramatically reduced across the board, regardless of whatever driver or service that you're talking about. So if I go into the 15 millisecond version right here, you'll notice that we have tons of latency in 64, 32, and 16 microsecond interrupt latency times, which is very high considering you can normally get it down to about one to 20 microseconds. So this dramatically reduces the amount of noise and activity that the kernel is actually using. but 
there also are even more tweaks that you can do. For example, if you go into the device manager and you go into one of the SSDs, you can disable write cache buffer flushing. That's another example of one. And so for example, down here on the NVMe and the storage port, if you enable this, for example, and do a bunch of whole other tweaks as well, like turning on specific settings and turning off specific settings, and then you can just mess with them inside of the power plans and the device manager as well. But if you go even further, you can reduce the amount of interrupts in your system to one hundredth of what it normally runs at. And that's just from a few small tweaks. From one tweak alone, we've already reduced the amount of interrupts by 10 times. And with just a little bit more diligence and some small tweaks on the operating system, which don't impact anything, they don't change anything about the system, they just change small little tiny monitoring metrics that don't actually do anything, we can reduce the actual activity all across the board for all of these different drivers and services and to where the only service that has anything more than a couple of interrupts is just the NVIDIA driver, which go figure, because you're gonna it's gonna be updating the frames per second of the screen and the refresh rate and stuff like that. So it, it should be having a lot of interrupts happening with it. So basically, once we change that from the normal state of 15 milliseconds to 5,000, the activity of Windows looks like this now. And like I said, you can still see the PPM perfection is highlighted in purple rather than blue the actual activity of the operating system is reduced dramatically. And across the board with a bunch of other different analyzing software, it is still the same. So for example, in latency mon, here is it running at 15 milliseconds. You can see there are tons and tons of interrupts being generated. This is with it at 5,000. And this has been further actually verified through Amit, which again, credit to him as well, because he was instrumental in re-verifying this information that I had discovered. So it was very helpful to make sure because I wasn't, I wanted to make sure that this was actually the default value and that this was actually applying for multiple systems, not just mine alone. So this has been re-verified and you guys are gonna wanna check out his actual GitHub page and the information and documentation about this. He's been instrumental and he's a really awesome guy. So. We've seen all of this different reductions in latency and interrupts in activity, and that is an unbelievable amount of change for just a simple few tweaks. And finally, the last one I'll show, just because I know some people only like to see one specific type of measurement of metric, which is basically another uh, latency mon tool. So this is what it normally runs at with point, or for 15 millisecond intervals. This looks fairly good. This is actually not bad at all. This is very low, but this is actually a very low amount in consideration to what you can get with just changing this one tweak alone. So with this one tweak with the time check interval, it drops it all the way down to 0.6 and I have single digit microsecond latency. An absolutely amazing tweak. And so I recommend that you guys do this for yourself, test it, analyze it, because I see no reason why you would need to have this set to an insanely high value of 15 milliseconds, because if you go into the Power Settings Explorer, the way you can actually make it reveal itself is by unselecting this, and it will show you right here. High performance power plan is set to 15 milliseconds. And so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys really enjoy this content, and I hope that it actually is helping you with your system. I've had a lot of fun and that the comments have been rather amazing. You guys are awesome. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you do appreciate this content. I do appreciate all of the different kind of stuff that you guys leave for questions and feedback. And my goal is basically just to help everybody get a much better running system without having to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on different hardware or different upgrades in your system. So yeah, guys. Have a good one. My name's Savaterix, and I'm out.